Hello everyone and welcome back to This Is Real Life. I'm your host Sherry and today we have another Skincare Saturday video. Now, my past Skincare Saturday videos have not been going that well. I feel like I'm not giving these skincare products a fair shake. However, I do not print what is written on these skincare boxes. For example, in one week, dark spot corrector. If you've watched this video, you will know that dark spot did not fade, brighten, lighten, whatever in one week like L'Oreal promised. I didn't write that on the box, they did. However, maybe I should have done this for two weeks, even though it didn't say to do it for two weeks. So maybe I didn't give L'Oreal a fair shake. Maybe that's my fault. But again, I didn't write the box. Neutrogena, rapid wrinkle repair, visibly younger looking skin in just one week. I didn't write that either. I didn't write so effective that 100% of women had noticeable results in just one week. I didn't write that, but maybe I didn't give Neutrogena a fair shake. I mean, I thought that by getting two times the wrinkle fighting power that also claims right on the box works quickly for visible results in one week. Maybe I didn't give these products a fair shake either, considering I've just been using them for one week like they say, and then I stopped using them. So today is gonna be different. Here's what we're doing today. Th this is a good one. Rock, their tagline is, we keep our promises. And you wanna know what's funny about this? Remember how I was bitching and moaning about skincare people maybe being a little bit more like Crest White Strips and not putting empty promises on the box? I don't see any empty promises on this box. Proven to be up to four times more effective than a series of three dermatologist peels. Improves the look of under eye and forehead wrinkles and signs of damage from sun exposure. I have forehead wrinkles, as we all know. Under eye, I guess. I mean, I'll consider these under eye. On the back of the box, they do have a little chart that goes from one week all the way out to eight weeks. I am going to give this puppy two weeks. At the end of this video, you will see the results of me using this for two weeks. And then I do plan to do another two week, so four weeks follow up. So we will be using this for one whole month. It doesn't say visible results in a week. It doesn't say visible results in a month. Peels were conducted at a baseline three and six weeks. So I figure I'm going to target in between three and six weeks and do it at two and four weeks and we should see something. This is a max wrinkle resurfacing system by Rock. There's two little steps here. One says smooths wrinkles and the other one says boosts skin's radiance. What I liked is it said for daily use so hopefully it doesn't burn my face off. After use your skin will not only look younger and more vibrant but will also feel dramatically smoother. But again they're not telling me a promised deadline. I'm already on board. I'm already on board with this because my hopes aren't high. My hopes aren't like, oh my God, in one in a week, I'm going to be so young looking. Holy shit, I can't wait. Nope, that's not what's happening here. And they said, we'll keep our promises. So I'm looking forward to The Rock keeping. I also like that they're The Rock. If anybody is a Fast and Furious fan, The Rock's in the last couple ones. I like him. I'm Jumanji. I like The Rock. But anyways, this is called The Rock. That was just a sidebar. If I really wanted to, I would be like, can you smell with my eyebrows what The Rock is cooking? He's cooking no wrinkles for Sherry. Whoops. There are no directions in this box. Oh, I guess the directions are on the side of the box. The anti-wrinkle treatment step one and resurfacing serum step two should be applied in equal amounts evenly to the entire face. Use the system every night in place of your regular moisturizer and or treatment. Oh, so I don't have to do it in the night and in the morning. Step one, apply the treatment liberally to entire face, massage into skin. You may feel a slight tightening or tingling sensation. This is normal. It's a sign that it's working. They all say that. The tingling is a sign that it's working. The tingling just means there's some shit in here that's burning your face. It doesn't mean that it's necessarily working. Neutrogena. Step two, resurfacing serum. Apply a layer of the metallic gray resurfacing serum over the cream. Do not rinse off. 
Okay. So only at night. Part of me wants to put the Neutrogena on in the morning, but then that would not be a good test if this works or not. It needs to be this alone. Oh, I know. Bringing in Cindy. We'll use my Cindy Crawford moisturizing cream in the morning. Yay, Cindy's back. She's been away for a while and I'm sure she's pissed at me. I did purchase this at the Walgreens for $28.99. Again, this skincare shit is not cheap. I hope these little bottles last me for the entire four weeks. I hope they don't run out in two weeks and then I have to go buy another set of bottles. Fingers crossed. As per usual, I am going to take a before, just like I did with Neutrogena. I'm sure you're super tired of seeing my before face, but you're gonna see it again. I'm taking a before front, a before side, and a before side. With no makeup on, just freshly washed skin, I'm not gonna smile. And then at the end of this video, we'll have the after. We'll compare in two weeks. Let's get started. Number one is the anti-wrinkle treatment, smooths deep wrinkles. I am supposed to apply this liberally over my face. So I don't know why I do that all the time, but applying liberally all over. Let's pull this down. That's why I like my peanut gray sweatshirt because it doesn't get in the way. But at some point, you gotta wash a sweatshirt. Rubbing your skin. It smells kind of like the Neutrogena. There's something in there that I can't place. It's like Neutrogena with something. It doesn't smell bad. It's definitely has a fragrance to it. It's not tingling. Could tingle on day three, who knows? Not tingling today. So I feel like I'm liberally rubbed in. That was step one. And then step two, I'm curious because it says something about gray. Step two, resurfacing serum. It boosts skin's radiance. And they said gray. It is gray. Oh, it really is gray. That's weird. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. This is nice. Oh my goodness. It's like silky smooth. It's like so smooth to rub on. Oh my, what does it feel like? It is smooth. It wants to be oily, but it's not. But it feels smooth like oil, if that makes any sense. Oh, it feels nice. I like it. Okay, good job so far, Rock. Well, I think I'm all rubbed in. Let's double check, make sure I did everything right. Yeah, I liberally applied step one, massaged it into my skin, and now I applied a layer of the metallic gray resurfacing serum over the cream. Smooth evenly over face as needed. Do not rinse. I'm not gonna rinse. That's it. That was day one of The Rock. Day one. I will uh, be back in two weeks. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so it is day eight of our Rock Retinol Correction Wrinkle Resurfacing System Challenge. I just got home from work. I washed my face. So I took, have all my makeup off, but I didn't put anything on my face. I have been washing my face every single night in the morning. I'm washing my face and I'm just simply moisturizing with my Cindy Crawford Meaningful Beauty Ultra Lifting and Filling Treatment. I call it moisturizing cream. Seven days have gone by so far. This is about how much product I have gone through in the seven days. And it does say put this on liberally. So I think it is going to last me, you know, a little while. This bottle doesn't squeeze down like this bottle, but I'm assuming that I've used the same amount of step two because I'm using them together and I'm using them equally. I have not noticed any tingling, no burning, no nothing when I put step one on. I adore step two. It is the smoothest, I don't even know what it's made of, but I wanna rub it all over my body. So I might have to call Rock and ask them to get me a tub of just step two. But we don't care how it feels, we care if it is 
getting rid of my wrinkles. I want to say it was day three. I had some peeling and a little bit on my nose and maybe a little bit right here. And it only lasted like a day. Just a tiny bit of peeling, no burning. To be quite honest, I like kind of want the burn because I feel like the burn at least makes you think it's working. When I put this on every single night, it's just like rubbing normal everyday moisturizing cream on my face. Together, I don't feel anything. I don't feel any magic happening, nothing. What do I What do I think? What do I see after seven days of using this? Not a damn thing. I kind of was talking myself into this morning. I developed this weird wrinkle, very, very light. On my 46th birthday, I woke up in the morning and everything turned to shit. And this was one of the added things. It's like a wrinkle that goes like hair. It almost looks like a sheet mark that just never goes away. I was trying to talk myself into this morning that it was getting less deep. I guess you could say. But other than that, I haven't noticed anything. My son told me my skin looked good the other day. He didn't say looks less wrinkly. He just said looked good. And that could have been because I had makeup on. Who knows? I care that I don't see any effects, but I'm not going crazy ape shit. I don't see any effects because The Rock did not promise me that. The Rock just told me that it improves the look of under eye and forehead wrinkles, which I do think is funny. I'm rubbing it all over my face, but are you telling me that it's only gonna work my forehead wrinkles and my under eye wrinkles, but fuck all my other wrinkles because they're staying. Point of the story is The Rock didn't promise me shit. They keep their promises, but they were smart because they didn't promise anything. There's this little graph, the percentage improvements in forehead wrinkles. The thick line is people who use The Rock. The dotted line, people who went to the dermatologist and got a peel. After one week, vroom! The rock shot up and the chemical peel didn't. Based on forehead wrinkles alone, one week, what do you think? I think my forehead wrinkles are still there. So that is my one week check-in. I'm gonna do this for another week and then we're gonna give final results on a two week challenge of the rock and see what happens. We'll take a midpoint picture and we'll compare. <laughs> see if you see if this weird sheet mark wrinkle looks any fainter or not. So today is night 14 of The Rock. I'm not gonna give my final thoughts today because I still have to put this on tonight and I'll give my final thoughts tomorrow. I have been doing this little duo treatment for 13 nights. I haven't washed my face yet because I wanted you to see my face with a day's worth of makeup. I woke up this morning, got ready for work, put makeup on, went to work at 7.30, worked all day, then went to pole. And when I was at pole, one of the girls that takes class, her name is Graceland, she has not been in class for over a month. So she hasn't seen me in a while. First words out of her mouth, I'm not even shitting you. Sherry, what have you been doing to your skin? It looks great. And I said, oh, first of all, have you not subscribed to my YouTube channel, Graceland? Because if you had, you would know what I'm doing to my face because I'm doing a bunch of shit. But I'm doing The Rock right now. So I wanted to keep my makeup on so you could see like, oh, here she is. All day she's had makeup on for like 13 hours. It didn't freshen up. I just literally walked right in the door. So this is two people now, two people. While I don't know if it has to do with this or if it has to do with all the other crap I've been doing over the last month and a half, or if it just has to do with the fact that I am washing my face every morning and every night. But it is something, and I'd like to give credit to The Rock, but I don't wanna give credit to them yet because this is not our final evaluation. This is my face with makeup on after all day. I do have a nice ginormous tumor zit right there above my eyebrow. But other than that, everything's good. I mean, I don't know. Does my skin look better? Am I less wrinkly? According to Graceland, I am. So I'm gonna go wash my face and put my treatment on and then be back with final results tomorrow. 
So I've washed my face. I actually had to microneedle my face today to keep on track with my every payday microneedling so that I could give you an update on that in like six months to a year from now. Just so you know, this is how much product I have used so far. So I think it's still gonna last me for another two weeks so we can do our four week follow up. Pretty good so far. So face is cleaned. It's actually microneedled and we're ready to go with the final day in our two week rock challenge. Okay, I have been using the Rock Retinol Correction Max Wrinkle Resurfacing System every night for 14 nights. Are you ready to see the results? Drum roll, please. Here it is. I just washed my face. I didn't put anything on it, no moisturizing cream, no nothing. It's just my regular, old, everyday, Skin. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now you all know that someone gave me a compliment on my skin just yesterday. It kind of got my hopes up and I feel like maybe the rock is working. I don't want to get my hopes up or speak out of turn, but I do feel like after 14 days, now don't forget, Rock didn't promise anything. They didn't say one week. They just had this nice little chart that I don't know what it means. And they said that it's proven to be up to four times more effective than a series of three dermatologist peels. It improves the look of under eye and forehead wrinkles and signs of damage from sun exposure. It does say for daily use, so I've been using it every night does not say to use in the night in the morning and part of me feels like maybe if I did use it in the morning I would maybe see a little bit more drastic results but I'm not gonna say that I haven't seen results I do feel like maybe my forehead wrinkles are smoother and maybe some of my little fine line cheek wrinkles are smoother or less visible if you will I don't really think it did anything to my eye wrinkles, but I do think I've seen something after two weeks, which gives me hope for the next two weeks. I feel like maybe in the next two weeks, I'll be back here and you'll be like, wait a minute, where's Sherry? Is that her younger, much more beautiful sister who clearly takes care of her skin? And then I'll go, no, you guys, it's me. I've just been using the rock. That's what I'm hoping for. But for now, I'm gonna say, I think this might've been $28 well spent. And as you know, I still have a lot to go. I think this is gonna last me another two weeks, which is great because I didn't wanna have to go out and buy more. So let's really evaluate the before and after photos. You leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Okay, so yeah, examine those before and afters. Like screenshot that shit, zoom in, and compare them with the afters because I just did that shit and I feel like I hope this isn't me trying to talk myself into it, but I definitely feel like from the front face, keep your eyes on this, there's a wrinkle like right at the top of my forehead that definitely looks lighter. It's not gone. It definitely looks less visible. And there's also a wrinkle, almost looks like a half of a smile right here that definitely is lighter in the after. Also, some of these I feel like they might look the same, but they might look lighter too. Then again, from the front, I have this line that goes down right here. That one looks lighter. And then there's one that's like, and this is really painful too, because I'm zooming and zooming out and I'm like, kind of, I'm like, fuck girl, you are wrinkly. Cause I'm like, oh, wrinkle number 22 over on the left. But it's okay. It happens to the best of us. This is real life. 
as you age, skin gets wrinkly, but that's why we're testing these products so that we can hopefully make our skin look less wrinkly. So wrinkle number 75, it's like right around like the back here. That one also looks less, but I'm very, very surprised at, if you look at my forehead, you know, you can only see from here to here, it really looks smoother in the after photo. That one I stand by. That one I wasn't even like trying to talk myself into it. I was like, oh dang, that area right here definitely looks smoother. So it's almost like the ends of my wrinkles because maybe in the center they're deeper and the ends they're kind of like feathered out. So maybe the ends of my wrinkles are starting to get less. So maybe it's working its way, working its way to the deep, deep crevices and then they'll all vanish. But you see, you see, you might leave a comment and go, no, Sherry, you completely talked yourself into it. The rock doesn't work just like all the other shit you've tried thus far. But I think, I think it's gonna be $28 well spent. <sighs> but leave a comment and let me know because as of today, where I stand right now in this white bathroom, the rock, I think it's keeping its promises. It's definitely improving the look of my forehead wrinkles. I don't think I necessarily had what they're calling under eye. I have wrinkles side eye, but not under eye. It also does say it is going to significantly improve the appearance of crow's feet, uneven skin tone, and overall skin appearance, which I kind of do think my overall skin appearance is pretty good. While it might not be completely less wrinkly, I think overall, if you're just like, you know, I'm like walking by and you pass me, you might go, that girl looks 40, not 46. So rock, two week test, I think it is Sherry approved. I'd say you might wanna give this puppy a try. That's all I'm saying. But you look at the before and afters and you judge for yourself. It is $28. I have been doing it for two weeks, but I'm gonna say I'm starting to see some shit happening. So there you have it. All right, everybody, that was another episode of Skincare Saturday on This Is Real Life. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure to ring that notification bell. I am posting a new Skincare Saturday video every other Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends, especially those ones looking to improve the appearance of their skin because I think this one is a winner. And as always, thanks for hanging out.